आ रहा है रिपब्लिक वर्ल्ड डॉट कॉम पर भारत रिपब्लिक वर्ल्ड डॉट कॉम अब हिंदी में इंडिया नंबर वन डिजिटल न्यूज मीडिया टेक आउटफिट आपकी सोच आपकी भाषा आपका देश All right, uh, we're getting more breaking news, and this is on POK leader Tawkeer Gilani slamming Pakistan government, saying Kashmir does not belong to Pakistan, calls it Pakistan propaganda. Now you've got a top POK leader hitting out, saying Kashmir is not Pakistan's property, and the day after Saeed's release, POK is slamming Pakistan. Remember, there has been a growing chorus. of human rights violations in POK even though Pakistan remains in denial there have been groups who are standing up and saying that Kashmir is not Pakistan's property and Horiyat is not speaking for Kashmiris so that's a major claim coming from a top leader in POK Aditya Rajkol joining us Aditya tell us the significance of this statement and about this leader who has spoken out against Pakistan Well, yes, uh, Parikshit uh, Tawkeer Gilani is a very prominent uh, youth face of uh, the liberation uh, in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. Uh, he is one of the leaders, uh, you know, based in Rawalpindi region, uh, where he has been demanding azadi from Pakistan and the illegal occupation of Pakistan. Yesterday, there was a Shodai Kargil conference in Rawalpindi where he was speaking along with other leaders of his liberation movement, and a very significant and important statement by Tawkeer Gilani, where he goes on to say. that fathers of uh, uh, the huriyat leader mirwa zumar farooq and sajad loan who is a president minister in the jnk government were killed by pakistan he also goes on to say that pakistan government pays rupees 30000 uh, to put pakistani flag on so called freedom fighters or terrorists so this is the reality that has come out on tv for the first time it's not somebody in india who is speaking about it it's not somebody uh, from the army or the security forces it is for the first time perhaps a very brave and honest and truthful comment coming in from tawkeer gilani based in pakistan occupied kashmir's rawla court he also goes on to say that in the last uh, couple of decades more than 650 leaders of his liberation movement have been killed by pakistan he goes on to hit out at pakistan and says that which document claims that kashmir is a part of pakistan there is not a single document or a historical treaty or a fact which says that kashmir is part of pakistan he goes on to say right. that the water of pakistan comes in from kashmir so pakistan should be grateful for the same and this is for the first time that a pok leader sitting inside pok not fearing the pakistani army or the forces is speaking the uh, about them and uh, about their atrocities across pok all right stay with us uh, aditya let's listen into tawkeer gilani and his message for the pakistani government पाकिस्तान कैसे काबज हो गया जी पाकिस्तान तो हमारा वकील है हमारा भाई है हमारा पुष्टिबान है सोलह सौ अरब रुपए एक साल में कमा के देते हैं तिरहत्तर अरब रुपए वापस करता है हमारा पुष्टिबान है ये डेम कोटली में बन रहा है आगे कोलार में बन रहा है कोहला में बन रहे हैं वो जनाब पीछे मुजफ्फराबाद में बन रहे हैं बीस बाईस हजार मेगावाट बिजली पैदा करते हैं कुश्ती बान साढ़े तीन सौ मेगावाट बिजली नहीं देता हमारे नेट नहीं चलते हमारे जो है वो फलक नहीं चलते हमारी दुकानों के काम हमारे मजदूरों के काम छपे रहते हैं पाकिस्तान हमारा कुश्ती बान है मीर वाइज उमर फारूक के वालद को मरवा दिया सजाद लोन के वालद को मरवा दिया मौलाना शोकत शाह के वालद मौलाना शोकत शाह को मरवा दिया डॉक्टर गुरु को मरवा दिया साढ़े छह सौ लिब्रेशन फ्रंट के कारकुन इन नाम नेहाद जिहादियों से मरवा दिए तहरीक की हर लाश के ऊपर बीस हजार रूपए देकर पाकिस्तान का परचम लगवा दिया हजारों के जुलूसों में एक लड़के को लगाकर जो है उसके नकाब उसको झंडा दे दिया पाकिस्तान की तहरीक उसको साबित किया सीज फायर लाइन पर भाड़ लगवा दी मसला कश्मीर से शिमला कर लिया तस्कंद कर लिया फिर ये कहा बीस साल के लिए फ्रीज कर दो फिर ये कहा भी हमें क्या कश्मीर के पंगे में पड़ने की जरूरत है ये पुष्टिबान है ये जो है वो कर रहा है हमारे साथ। 
Aditya is showing Pakistan the mirror, saying Pakistan pays uh, 30,000 rupees to put Pakistani flags on the so-called freedom fighters and terrorists. And he is saying that they are responsible for the killing of Sajad Lohan and Mirwai Zumar for Farooq's fathers. Very, very strong statements uh, coming. Give us a sense of uh, the gathering and the timing of uh, this speech. The timing is very, very significant at a time when, uh, uh, you know, there have been questions raised on the so-called Azadi moment, uh, be it in Kashmir or POK. And in fact, uh, you know, he openly talking about uh, uh, how the fathers of Mirwai Zuman Farooq and Sajad Don were actually killed by Pakistan. Uh, so Pakistan certainly has no local stand on Kashmir. And also goes on to say that Pakistan pays 30,000 rupees to put the flag of Pakistan on the uh, mortal remains or dead bodies of the so-called freedom fighters. So very significant and a brave comment coming in from somebody sitting in POK. Uh, in fact, we should be concerned about his security that he is so openly challenging the might of Pakistan sitting inside Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. But this does, uh, uh, you know, bring out skeletons out of the cupboard as to what the reality of the given situation really is. It was only yesterday evening that Khwaja Asif, uh, Pakistan's foreign minister, to deflect attention from uh, global terrorist Hafez Saeed's release, uh, you know, talked about Kashmir. He released a very significant and long statement on the Kashmir cause without any kind of a provocation. So uh, the question really is that Pakistan may try to deflect attention towards Kashmir, try to internationalize this, but the reality is in its own backyard, uh, apart from places in Balochistan, Khyber Pakhtunwa and Sindh, in Pakistan occupied Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan also, there are atrocities happening. People do not have fundamental rights. They are treated as second class citizens and uh, not given any basic rights. So that's the reality coming out in open. Uh, we have had the global protests organized by people uh, you know, living in exile from POK and Gilgit Baltistan. But this is perhaps the first time that a leader from POK is speaking in such an outspoken fashion and challenging the okay. might of the Pakistan army, giving the reality of the given situation. All right, I'll just stay with that.